Ready. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Hey, I'm TQ. I'm JQ. We are the, the Q, Q Brothers. Brothers. Zah. Jay. Yes, T. The past couple years, uh, we've seen, we've sort of um, experienced an embarrassment of riches when it comes to good shaving products. Would you agree? I love the way you word things sometimes. Thanks. An embarrassment of riches. Um, yes, I'm not embarrassed at all, but yes, it's been ridiculous. Yeah. So, you have not tried these. This is La Père Lucien. La Père Lucien. And it's the shave, I've started using, I've used one of the shave stuff, so I've only used one of these products. But I want you to lather it up while we sort of smell and have cool. fun. Um, but I would say the, the bar just got even a little hotter. Really? Like it's, it's up there among my favorites right wow. now. Wow. I just tried last week. I called it my favorite shave cream ever. So. Oh yeah. So I, we'll see. No, I'm saying, I'm saying like these are, the this is in the high percentile, wow. you know, the, one, one of the higher percentiles. Where's so it from? Where's it from? From France. So, clearly. Okay. Yeah. So, hence the name La Père Lucien. Do you yeah. have the leathering bowl? You have it. Yes. Okay. Ow. All right. Could you scratch my back right there? Yeah, right. Up in the middle. Ah, right where I can't reach it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's my spot. I'm like a dog. Now I'm ready. <laughs> all, right. Um, all right. So, so try, try it. this Indian rose because this this rose rose de Pushkar. Oh man, I'm into it. Where's the smell? <laughs> rose, rosewood. It's just if, okay. So if anybody knows. If anybody, if anybody knows um, anyone else who is Indian or they themselves, the Mysore sandal soap. Oh yeah, that uses I think the same kind of Indian rose oil that this is using, and I just love it. I think the the scent is so good, and it's just it's a nice thick thick. It's sort of that cream soap croak as people say. Yeah, you know, but. And it's, it's uh, I'd say I had to work a little harder yeah. to get it going. And it also can, you can take a fair amount of water because it is so thick. But after you get it going, it's really nice. And I just think the scent on this is ridiculous. The first batch we sold out right away. It's back. Um, I believe this will be, let's see. It's, when they cover it up, it makes it hard. Then smell the cedar patchouli. Oh wow, it's just like it's going nice. The patchouli is subtle, which I like. Yeah. And the cedar is strong. It's hard because this thing's so overfilled. It's I know, it's hard to load it. I was just saying, it's like you get, it's so dense and so heavy, isn't it, for such a little thing? It is. It's, it's, that's, if there's one downside, it's that it's too packed. You want less soap in there to be able to load the brush. There we go. Yeah. There. That was just like nothing was happening there. Yeah, I noticed that too. Loading the brush is hard because it's so full. There's no edge to move around on. It just kind of slides off. There we go. Uh, yeah. But it just really smells. It's so nice. It's, it's kind of nice. You know, it has like a little bit of like driving down Devon Avenue a little bit. Yeah, that's there. what I mean. It's like this is like a little Indian town. It has a little, little bit of like the incense that you smell around that area. And also yeah. a little bit of the... Um, As you're picking up your... Um, your samosas and your gulab, your gulab jamun. But also, it's a really clean, that's not to say it's not a super refreshing clean scent. You know, the rose keeps it, face. the rose keeps it very um, clean. Yeah, it's not, I wouldn't describe it as I mean like, that's what it smells like after. Yeah, it's, it's very soapy incense, but mainly rose still, and yeah. I love it. I love it. It's nice. But it not a rose like an English rose at all. Not at all. It's that dusky. It's not that, yeah. It's, it's a dusky, spicy. It's not that, if you're if you're a person who's not mm -hmm. into like the floral rose or find that sort of like overly floral thing nauseating, this might be a rose you could use. Yeah, right? I agree. I agree. I mean, it certainly feels like it's pillowy. You've tried it. You've actually shaved with it. Yeah, I've shaved with it a couple I mean, times. It's pretty ridiculous. I really like it. Look at this. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. I can't even shake blades. It was harder. It was. It's a little harder to make the lather than. But it pays off. Than yeah. some of the other ones. Yeah, I mean that was working in pretty. Yeah, hard. but I think it pays off in some beautiful thick creamy lather that just kind of lasts. Yeah, look at this. Look at the nature of that. Right. Yeah, it's awesome. It really looks super pillowy. Yeah, it's great. It also looks like it's not getting dry quickly, which is nice. Yeah. God, there's something about it I can't place. It's like there's a little touch. I'm like thinking about like salt after a meal. I know, I know. And like there, I'm getting like tons of sense memory from our childhood, and I don't know. Yeah, I know. I, agree. I can't quite place it all. But gosh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I know. It I just, really is. I'm really excited. So smell these other ones just so you know. Um, so you smelled the cedar patchouli, which is nice. Is that one original? Yeah, that's like the original. Oh. Which is really, really nice, right? Kind it's of, also woody. Yeah, woody, herbaceous. And green, yeah. Right? It's great. I really like that. This one is an unscented, so same kind of base, but... Let's see. Oh, I smell nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, I like the cedar patchouli. And here. Shave oil, pre-shave oil, whatever, however Pre you want to use Yeah. Um. Wow! Whoa, there's some cedar or bitter the, green. Yeah. What is it? There is some wood, but there's a lot of wood in there. But there's grass in there. There's like kale in there, dude. <laughs> I'm serious. There's bitter greens, like radish greens or something. Yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't even say, yeah, it's just, well, you know what, I think it's a really funky lavender in there. Is it? It's like that green funk lavender when you crush lavender, fresh lavender between your hands. Now that's coming down, it smells more like lavender and wood to me. Young wood, like like when you get fresh wood, not yeah. old wood, yeah. you know, not dried out. Yeah. It's no. still green and yeah. alive, you know? Yeah. Um, and then this is the, uh, the... Um, after shave. Wow. That's an interesting. I feel like this shave oil, if you use it even as like a couple drops Whoa. after. Oh, really? Yeah, try this after shave splash. Just smell it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got. It's also, they're so. They're so. Bold. They're so bold and. But I mean, bold herbaceous, not bold cologne. No. Oh, I love it. This, this is great. This is awesome. This is awesome. I've, I've, I've never smelled that before. This will be great in summer where you think, where you want to keep it green and fresh and not be heavy, but, but also not be wearing cologne. No. This is like truly just an aftershave where it smells sort of like, it's so natural. Like a handsome man. Yeah, but handsome, nat like, it's so natural smelling. It has none of that sort of like, I'm trying to make this an attractive cologne smell. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not, it's not crafted as a cologne. And it smells like, like it's crafted as like, kind of yeah. Things, right? It's just straight up sort of like, lumberjack, man. Oh. But like French lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> very, very <laughs> sensitive. I got some yeah. today and then not. Yeah, whatever. Perhaps I just sit here and drink this wine and philosophize. <laughs> you know? But, but I have someone else cut the wood for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pierre! Um, <laughs> so, so I Yeah, wow. That was, we just went on like a little... It's great though. And yeah. you know what would go well with it? Is like if you, if you do wear a scent, like a citrusy scent, would match great yeah, with agreed, this, right? Agreed, agreed. If you like have like a a lime sort of thing or a grapefruity thing that you do in the summer, would pair awesome with this. You would just walk yeah. in and be like the coolest orange. Fresh, any, 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 citrus any citrus would be fine. Would be a great Maybe. combo, right? Yeah. Even grapefruit would go, but grapefruit would be more along a similar line because you get the bitterness in there. But I would say like bright citrus. I was would be thinking like the yeah. title of Rasa Yuli. That yeah. kind of grapefruit where it's like light and refreshing lemony grapefruit. Yeah, well that's a lot of, that one's a lot of, yeah. I would say any kind of bright citrus would go well with that. That, you know what, that new um, Italian citrus one would mm -hmm. go great? 
the new colognes we just did with the with all the citrus fruit in the background behind the Oh yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. That would be perfect. Yeah, like blood oranges and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Or even just taking like royal lime if you're a kind of person who puts that on the mm. body afterwards. That would be like a good combo. Let's just revisit. Look at this. It's still been sitting there the whole time. Still so Look at soft Look at and this. moist. Yeah. That is Look at awesome. It. Yeah. All right, I'm taking the rose one home. Oh, yeah. oh. Let's see if we have any left. Is it selling that fast? Uh, like uh, I mean, I think we got a lot more, but. Oh, but it's so good. So fast. Anyway. Gosh, it's awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I knew you'd be excited. That's you hadn't great. smelled any of them. I, I was pretty excited to show them to you. And I'm excited about this. Some cabs you get into and you're like, oh, it smells like I'm not feeling the smell. And some cabs you get into and you're like, yes. Yeah. And this is the one where you're like, yes, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Amazing. So anyway, let me have this in. These are great. Yeah, they're really I'm definitely nice. I'm gonna try the aftershave and the rose for sure. Where did you put the cap? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Yeah, give it a shot. Au revoir, baby.